Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another one of my videos, this, the third part uh, in the Age of Empires Online Egyptian playthrough. Uh, this is XFSTF right here and I have changed the resolution, that's right. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to affect the video on YouTube itself because it's a uh, cross, you know, it's, it's something between full HD and HD, but I did change it and, okay, this looks weird. Okay, Microsoft, here's here's a bug for you guys. Upon changing resolutions and changing cities, something weird happens, but nonetheless. We are in the game and the last time that we've played we just covered some basic military stuff and now we've got our next mission on. Uh, there are of course a lot of stuff that I need to cover up in the in the coming videos. I did explain something about resources where uh, well <clears throat> And the fact that you can build in your capital city stuff with them, but these are not all of them, of course. There are other types of, of resources uh, that will come in play later on in the game, especially if you have a premium civilization. Now, this game has a lot of um, merchandise, has a lot of objects, items to, to offer, uh, other than the beautiful graphics that you can see here. And actually, the great gameplay, I have to say. Uh, that I have been uh, enjoying until now. So uh, I was already a fan of strategy games. I'm not sure how much this would affect somebody else that is not a fan of strategy games. But I myself was a friend of them and uh, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Okay, so our next mission is actually to travel to uh, the Nubian Expanse. And here we'll get our next quest. <coughs> Okay, here we go. So there are a lot of NPC towns just like these ones, which they look really nicely done. I mean, uh, there are, there's a lot of attention to detail and and, and how the buildings are, are placed, if they are correctly strategically placed, and such stuff as you can see on a small oasis with a small tent right here. It, it's all it's all pretty much uh, being thought about, and of course a fortress and some lions in a pit. Okay, this, this is really interesting. Good, so uh, apparently we have to talk with this Nubian guy right here. He looks like a badass. And we have to build the Temple of Ra, reach the second age, and gather some wood, build some farms, and of course rescue. Okay, this mission is quite larger than uh, I've estimated before. We also get to choose, or we actually get all of these, we get a lot of... Um, flagpoles and stuff. Let, let me just accept the mission. Also there are uh, a lot of shops that you can access also from um, from the neutral towns as well as from your friends and, and, and uh, other players that you meet online in the game. Um, and this shop right here for example it sells recipes. So with these recipes you can actually uh, make uh, items which you can later equip your, your armies with. Uh, and this one stores actually this store actually sells premium content for your civilization uh, and that is premium uh, items for your army good ah getting a bit sleepy it's been a long day so to say help the Nubian turn okay so obviously this is my next quest I have to finish this one before I can finish the original one let's just go ahead and begin the quest um, I don't have that much time either today, so I'll probably just be doing this one right here. And today we're going... Okay, thank you. Okay, so obviously we start off differently than, than usually. We have to make a warehouse way over there because of the fact that this is a transport, okay, obviously. What is this? Oh, this is a Priestess of Ra. Okay, that, that's good because she will help us uh, with a lot of stuff. We'll just go ahead and make four workers and send them all to gather wood. While these original five workers actually go to uh, food harvesting, just as usual. Okay, so our enemies are situated to the north and the center of the map. And these are the yeah. units that we need to help the family members. There's actually a quite a similar quest for the Greeks, 
and I'm guessing that all quests are going to be quite similar. Some alligators, okay. Priestess, you have to run a bit faster. Although she runs quite quite funny if you look at that. Okay, she she looks like she looks like she hasn't been a virgin since a long time ago. I've seen girls walk that way. Not a pretty sight. Good, we've got three workers and getting another three workers to put into food pretty soon. Um, exploring is al always a good a good part. And what I like about the AI is, th is the fact that they actually retreat if you if if you have uh, a larger amount of forces than they do. Okay. Now I've got five workers set to gathering wood. That's right. And I'll be making another five for. Uh, for getting uh, for getting food, afterwards I will be researching the second age. Just that's actually my build up until now. I do uh, like two workers, uh, not two. Workers. I do f uh, put the, my my original five workers to food. Then I make five wood workers. Afterwards, another five uh, food gatherers, and um, when I have ten and five, I can actually go all the way to. War leader, I'm, I'm going to leave this one for... I think, I think I can actually take this guy. Let me wait until my priestess heals everybody. And... Oh, I have to build a Temple of Rod to advance the next age. Because obviously I'll need another worker for building stuff. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so the Egyptians have it some other way. I just build a temple and then I can re... Uh, it's it's different with the Greeks then. Uh, with the Egyptians, I just have to build a temple, and afterwards I can advance. I'm guessing. Let's see if I can take on this word war leader right here. Ah, uh, looks like I'll be having some losses. Okay. Last worker coming in. This worker, I actually recommend having two workers uh, for building stuff because it takes such a long time. Okay, so I think I've lost one unit. Yes, I did. Or did I actually lose two of them? But it doesn't matter because I will be making quite a large military in the near future. And wow, and I've reach the second age okay just you just need to build a temple obviously nice good next thing on our list is getting to build hmm. oh okay okay so we've got a bit of a problem here as in these workers have nothing to do so I'll just start making farms And with these two workers, I'll keep making the houses. Uh, and at the same time, I can start making another five workers for wood, as I will be needing them to make uh, to make my, all of my farms and the uh, needed barracks to win this game and the dock, of course. I probably need some. Probably need a duck as well. Probably. Okay, I'm not sure why I'm going this way. Still need to explore that di direction. five workers I'll make sure that we're getting some gold as well 
as I will be needing them for my priestess priestesses. And here the exploration, though I am almost certain that I'm, I cannot access my enemies from here, as they pro probably would have attacked me until now. Okay, we've got an extra worker not doing anything. Last word we're going to wood and I'll need another three workers for uh, farming and another two for building stuff. Okay, let's just explore everything right now. You can also explore on the on the see if we've got the time. Okay, we have workers here. Um, considering the game, because I always like to say stuff, I was saying that the graphics are really nice and uh, I really like them, uh, until now at least, uh, but I am a bit uh, disappointed at the fact that when you advance through ages, the only thing that advances with you is only the town center and all of the other buildings basically stay the same, at least until now, I, say. I mean, I've been until the, the third age the silver age and uh until the silver age mm, there was like no change in the buildings ex except of course for the uh town center so if you guys are planning to actually and by you guys i mean microsoft if you're actually planning on making some more graphics for the game i would recommend giving us some more content when it comes to graphics because it's an it's you know it's like traditional for this game to have uh, all of their buildings of all of one's buildings evolve with with the time and not just um, the town center. Okay, now I'm building my stuff, which I usually like to huddle up together in one control group. Getting on with the exploration, nothing. Weird until now. I actually don't have a dock, right? I'm not I'm, okay. I'm not. I'm not yet. My dock isn't yet available. So uh, yeah. I think I can usually only use that transport right there. Empowers buildings. How does one empower building? Okay, I've got. I've got to learn more about that. The nice thing is that the Egyptians have Slingers and X-Men in the same building as well as Spearmen, so... Uh, obviously. Okay. She's empowering the building. I'll probably need to learn a bit more about what that means. Okay, let me just empower this building right here. Ah, the old house problem. I wish they had Hans in this game. For those of you who got that reference, I'm proud of you. <laughs> Slingers look pretty neat. Okay, good. So I think I can finally come back with my whole armies because there's nothing that I'll be discovering. Nothing new at least. At least I can kill this guy, although it will take forever more <clears throat> take my other priestess and no not you
Yes, I think uh, I think they actually give us better production time. The priestesses. Okay, make sure you finish all of these houses. Axemen are quite cheap actually. 40 resources. looking good hopefully I'll be finished soon enough and I managed to just to kill that guy right here which is always good Should have built a stable as well for camels, but it's a bit late right now. I'll just focus on getting my troops over. On this side, there's no way of me getting in. Let me just keep my units a bit closer to my enemy. Although I've got probably enough troops already. Actually, in a bit of a hurry today because of the because of plans that I've got a bit later. So that is why I'm rushing things a bit. But you probably just get the main idea. The main point was how to set up your economy, uh, and this is anyway a, a, an easy enough mission. I'm 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 sure that you will handle it yourselves from now on, or you should handle yourselves from now on. Time to get some units in. Good. Time to rescue the guys. So this is obviously a quite e quite easy mission. Getting treasure. Okay, killing the towers, getting the family members rescued. And calling on the transport. There's al it's always good to look around, just as I've mentioned. Um, I'll probably be doing in my next episode a more detailed view on the game regarding the units, their DPS, you know, uh, what they're good against, what they're bad against and such stuff. And I'll probably be empowers buildings. Okay, so empowering probably just speeds up the, the game, the, the, the speed of, of uh, producing units and, and researches, which is also good. It's, it's quite nice because Greeks have nothing like that at all okay another 
Badari World Leader. And another chest for me. Can't complain there. And I'll make one temple for you guys. One stable for you guys, maybe. Actually, Trevor here. Okay, so the mission is done. I'm just trying to get this tower kill for the XP, and I'm out of here. Also, it would be nice if they would make more victory, uh, m more victory. Um, music because it's kind of boring hearing the same thing over and over again okay so i've got a lot of stuff that i need to show you guys the mission is done now i can return to my own city in egypt of course and i can learn dock and fishing boats also nice and getting the new, new quest which involves I need to kill Karens. Okay, so this is different. And this is when the fun starts. When you start getting some uh, premium civilization um, rare items. Which are really nice, but sadly you have to own a, you have to own a, a premium civilization, which I don't, sadly, of course. So, opening the chest, some lumber, okay, some food, I, had, uh, I hadn't have any, I hadn't had any food. And we have some flagpoles and some large bush tubes. Where should I put these? Actually, maybe I'll build something like that, mm -hmm. like, a, like in the square, something nice like that. Mm. You know, it, it's all up to you, however you want to place these things, and I'm, I'm really not that good as an architect. I mean, don't let me redecorate your house. I can, maybe I can do some videos about games, but, although, ah, this should work, okay. Good, so, um, this was it for today. Thank you guys for watching and listening, and I hope I will see you guys next time. Uh, until then... Take good care of yourselves and leave any questions or, or uh, ideas in the comments below. Bye-bye.